Hey, how's it going? This will be the sixth episode of my personal growth journey. Even though it is only the sixth episode, I have been on this journey since the day I was born. But we don't always have to define something as personal growth or to be considered such. We're always growing. It's just now we have a term for it that is widely known. Of course, when there's some, a term for something that's widely known, just like spirituality has some terms for it that are widely known, it can get often very muddled and hard to understand because everybody has their own version of what growth means. Everybody has their own version of what religion and spirituality means. There is no one size fits all. We're all different and yet we're all the same. And that's what makes life so interesting and exciting to live in because we are living in such a unique world. So how do I be more myself? I noticed that I like I might speak a little differently when I'm on the phone um, when I'm recording this on my phone and I want to break out of that like I have to talk a certain way for people to enjoy the video you know but there's that voice in your head that tells you like oh yeah slow down sound like those you know like the, the elongated speech so you, you it's a trial process right we all have to find our own voice so I'm finding my voice and uh, sharing it with you guys so I wrote a couple of notes down today about things that I learned and excuse me that's my I should probably pause that one moment there we go thank you airplane mode <laughs> all right so let's see I wrote today was an interesting day and then I just jumped straight to things that I've learned today so I've got my little journal here when I slip up when I slip up to not be so hard on myself just notice and stop it's not hard once you drop the ego I need to stop being so pushy and just go with the flow the ones that was number two number three the ones closest to you offer the most important reflection of yourself the way I treat others people animals objects as a direct is a direct representative of my spiritual growth also the way I treat myself number five I need to stop trying to prove something to others it's overcompensating its weakness and to the emotionally keen and intelligent person an obvious giveaway of my insecurity my job is to notice these moments of egoic backlash as they occur and let them go the shadow is only dissipated by the light of my awareness love will conquer everything it allows awareness to grow and is an indicator of true growth. The larger one's circle of compassion, the longer, the larger one's awareness, and vice versa. I am a pleasure seeker. Funky hair. I always talk about my hair. <laughs> uh, it's everywhere. I am a pleasure seeker. But that's okay. Growth doesn't happen all at once. I love my family, and you should too. We all have dysfunctions, no one's perfect, some very far from it. But like the God you are becoming and are, judging is not in your nature, and love is the only antidote to hate. How do you expect to solve hate with anger? 
or solve corruption with more of the same? So those were my thoughts for today. And um, they are a process that I am mentally going through. Things that I notice about myself that I judge and dislike. And things that I like. Um, I might have forgotten to mention some of the things that I like. So that's another thing I can notice. I'm noticing that I'm writing more of, I think, my shortcomings, things that I don't like in there. So I can switch that up and maybe in the next video do things that I really like about myself. Um, and this allows the creative process to grow. Not judging that I'm being judgy is a huge, um, something Gary V talks a lot about. Not judging that I play with my hair too much on video and it's goofy. Some people like that, you know? Um, it's just who I am. I'm a little bit goofy. You know, I'm a little goofball sometimes. And that's, that's cool. That's just who I am. And one of the most important things in life is just learning how to be cool with who you are. And from one of my favorite dating and life coaches, Tyler, he says, you're already awesome on the road of becoming even more awesome. And that's sums it up pretty well. Thanks for watching and really appreciate every single person that comments and gives me a little bit of love. Um, and I will continue making these videos for myself and anybody else who enjoys them. Keep on living and loving and leveling up. And I'll see you. One last thing before you go, I recall that I learned this really cool um, thing that Zen masters would tell their students to confuse them into this moment, to get them their mind to like not know which way to go and then kind of drop. And that is whenever you're tempted with want the want the need or want to procrastinate you stop yourself and you think if not now when and this is such a simple simple tool but i found it super helpful in the last two days every time i don't want to do something like i think to myself should i feed the dogs or should i clean the cat litter box or should i do this anything that comes into my head that is like, mm, there's resistance, but I know I need to do it. I think that line to myself, like I am my own teacher. If not now, when? And it works for me. So I hope it helps you out. Uh, ask it seriously. Really ponder when you're gonna do this thing. Um, and realize that there there will not be another time but now now is the only time that exists so much love peace out keep on living and loving and leveling up